Well, good morning. It's Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, and I hope you had a great start to your week. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing a life focused on Christ, and we're going to be back in Hebrews again. Uh, now we're going to be in Hebrews 12, uh, verses 1 through 3, so let's get rolling. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which is so easily entangles us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And I know some of you probably, oh, that's Paul. Paul had talked about, they're always talked about the endurance and the race that's set before us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up real quick uh, in that first verse because uh, yesterday, you know, we did go through Hebrews 11, and, and obviously, you know, it was filled with you know, excellent examples of faith uh, for us to draw strength and encourage encourage from when our walk with the Lord becomes difficult. And like them, we must let go of anything that hinders our relationship with God. And as Paul says, count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus. And that's from Philippians 3.8. And if you go into Philippians 3, that chapter, especially uh, around 8, 8, 8 through 11, 8 through 12, somewhere in there, uh, it'll talk about really goal setting and, and, and what you need to do. So in here, he, they're saying, uh, count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus. So again, let go of anything that hinders our relationship with God. Uh, and because we cannot succeed in this race with the passions of the world weighing down on us, we must run wholeheartedly for Christ or not at all. And you'll see uh, in, 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 the, in the devotion here, it talks about focus on Jesus and on ourselves and on our desires. And we're talking about you know, those negative desires, those things that are going to get in the way. Uh, and a lot of folks are like, well, hey, yeah, dude, you talk about vision boards and you talk about affirmations and goals and success and you can do whatever you want to do and achieve your dreams. What does this mean? Well, not, it's, it's saying don't lose focus on Jesus. Uh, you know, spiritual has to be one of those goal areas in your life. And if it's all about you and it's all about all the things you can accumulate and all the nasty things you can do and all this stuff, then, then no, that, that's, that's not the way to go. So you need to take a step back. Let's talk about faith. A life of strong faith doesn't happen automatically. Like nothing happens automatically, right? Or without any effort on our part. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're in the Bible for one year. Although we are not saved by our own endeavors, spiritual growth, requires the appropriation of all the means God has provided to help us walk faithfully with him. And we should, one, learn from the lives of past heroes of faith, like those we read about yesterday in Hebrews 11, and knowing that others have faithfully navigated the stormy seas of life that encourages us to persevere as well. We always want to read about folks who have done it, uh, done things, and and you know everybody thinks everybody's an overnight success, but they're not. Uh, there's plenty of hard times in everybody's life, uh, and so we want to know. Uh, we're, we're happy to, uh, to it kind of you know makes us feel a little bit better when we know someone's been where we've been, right, and that they have overcome those things. But you want to rid yourself of any habitual sins or other burdens that hinder us from wholehearted devotion and obedience to the Lord. So if your, your, your trappings and the things that you're getting are, are keeping you in the way of your obedience to the Lord, now that's a problem because you do need to focus on Jesus and not yourselves and your desires. So if those, if you, all things you want and all your desires are getting in the way of your relationship with Jesus, then, then you're going down the wrong path and you got, you got a problem. You can have it all, you just, but you, you can't leave Jesus out of the equation. Christ has gone before us to model how to live faithfully, no matter how difficult the circumstances. He demonstrated perfect trust, always doing exactly what his father commanded, even going to the cross. Jesus endured shame and suffering by focusing on the joy that would be his in the completed redemption of a people for God's glory. And the question for this week or today is, are you looking to Christ for the strength and perspective needed to run life's race with faith-filled endurance? Didn't say don't run the race anymore. It said look to Christ 
for your strength and your perspective and really perspective. That's, that's what we lose more than anything. Uh, yeah, we lose strength because we lose our perspective and get frustrated. So turn to Christ, get your petition. Remember that's, you know, your, your, uh, your board of directors, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and get in there and every day and, and, and put your petitions out there and, and counsel and, and, and get that strength and that perspective on a daily basis. Uh, and don't forget to keep your gratitudes in there, right? Okay, Bible in one year, Jeremiah 31 to 32. Just got a couple of chapters today, but there are good ones. So I'm gonna let you go for the day. It's a sunny day. Uh, and I am, I'm not big on predictions, but I'm predicting, predicting a golf club or two is gonna get in this hand today. So I hope you guys have a great day as well. And we will talk to you tomorrow.